Could a tragedy in the French Quarter have been avoided? That's the question many are asking after a teenager was trapped under a collapsed tree branch in Jackson Square. Good evening and thanks for joining us. I'm Devin Bartolotta. And I'm Sharice Gibson. So we have some new pictures that have come to light showing a really large branch that had fallen just last week. Alyssa Curtis reports. She was there. You could tell who the mother is. When a mother's losing someone, you can tell who the mother is. It was a sound like thunder, then loud screams at Jackson Square Friday after a large tree branch fell on a teenager. It sounded like a loud, loud crack of thunder, and the loud crack of thunder was so loud, I was in that shot, and, and I was right close to the door, and it came down. We didn't know who was up underneath it at that moment or not, but there was hundreds of people out here come running. Really, the tree was so huge, nobody really could do much. Some people tell me it was a similar but less harrowing scene just last week when they saw a different branch from the same exact tree fall on this side of the fence. They say the work that's being done right now should have happened days ago. This picture was taken by Jay Setchum just moments after a branch fell Tuesday, June 27th. She says it almost fell on someone. One person who works right across the square didn't want to be on camera, but tells WWL TV he was worried something like this would happen. He said work was being done recently on the tree, but some branches were left dangling. The city said routine work was done on trees in the square, but wouldn't say how often or when this tree last received attention. We can't speak to that. Honestly, at this point, we're really just assessing the situation to determine if there's any remaining risk. And uh, as you can see from the area outside of the fence line, um, we're likely going to remove the remainder of the tree today. Just before 9 p.m., most of the tree had been cut down. The city says they're working to figure out how this happened. Reporting in Jackson Square, Alyssa Curtis, Eyewitness News. Uh, the teenager was taken to a trauma center. His condition is unclear at the moment.